Did you know that millions of vital events, such as births, adoptions, marriages, divorces, and deaths, go unregistered every single year? This means that these events are not legally registered. The primary purpose of civil registration is to establish the legal documents required by law. Civil registration establishes the individual's right to recognition as a person before the law and is the fundamental source of legally valid identity data used across government services. Birth registration is important as it establishes your identity and your family relations. It is a fundamental human right and is often a prerequisite for any dealings with governments and private institutions. Yet 1 billion people worldwide are undocumented because civil registration and identity systems don't function properly. Without legal identification, a child may not be able to access healthcare and education and much more. Legal registration of marriages, divorces, and deaths is equally important. Women are particularly disadvantaged when their births, marriages, divorces, and deaths are not registered. As a result, they often can't access property rights, pension benefits, child support, or inheritance. In low- and middle-income countries, women's deaths are more likely to go unregistered than men's. This means that we know less about the causes of deaths of women and how to prevent illnesses. Data from the civil registration system is the most preferred source of vital statistics. When events are not registered, we have an incomplete picture of the population. This is a serious problem for a government program. Legal identity for all is a key objective under the UN Sustainable Development Goals. Monitoring for the SDGs requires timely data collection based on well-functioning civil registration and vital statistics systems. Improving CRVS is also an SDG target in its own right. Target 16.9 calls for the provision of legal identity for all, including birth registration by 2030. Indicator 17.19.2 includes a provision to achieve 100% registration and 80% death registration by 2030. Finally, Target 17.18 calls for enhanced support for countries to improve the quality timeliness, reliability, and disaggregation of their statistical data, of which CRVS is an integral component. CRVS is also important for gender equality. Women are often discriminated against in civil registration law and are particularly vulnerable without legal documentation. But why aren't vital events registered? Long distances for families to travel to register vital events cost to registration, no incentives, long and complicated procedures, general lack of awareness, cultural practices. The CRVS Systems Improvement Framework was developed to improve registration processes and understand the root causes for low or non-registration. The framework introduces a process improvement approach to increase CRVS system performance and service delivery to the population. The implementation of the framework is a collaborative process where all stakeholders work together to map out the registration processes and identify the obstacles and strengths. The approaches and tools described in the framework help you with finding root causes of problems in the CRVS system. The framework is made up of three stages. Stage 1 – Assessment, Analysis and Redesign Stage 2 development of the strategic action plan and stage 3 implementation monitoring and evaluation to better understand the root causes of under registration we will review a real life example of why some events are going unregistered it demonstrates the many barriers to registration services as you see the story unfold try to identify some of the issues Let's look at how a business process looks like in this case. A birth takes place in a hospital. The nurse records the baby in a notification system in paper format. The nurse gives the mother a notification form. The mother travels back to the village. To register the birth, her husband must be present. The couple travels to the nearest local registration office. The couple fills out a birth report form and submits the notification form and their IDs. The registrar sends the forms to the regional office. The regional office validates the information and issues a birth certificate. 
the birth certificate is returned to the local office. The birth certificate is filed at the local office in a secure location. The parents return to the local office to collect the birth certificate. Through the application of the framework, the root causes of the issues in this process can be identified and the process improved through redesign.